Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is amazing. Of course, I'm starting my day with this little monkey right here, which by the way, Forrest and Steven and Desiree had called this Baby Kush because it's Steven Kush. And uh, I'm gonna keep its name, Baby Kush. We originally were gonna call it Forrest, but uh, I think it's actually more fitting that we keep the name Baby Kush. And it's kind of cute too, but I'm telling you what, that animal is wild. And what I mean by that is right now, you can see it right over there and the way it looks at you is like no other reptile I've ever seen. I mean, it literally is almost like peering out of its side eye like. I mean, it literally is so unbelievable how it's like dissecting you with its eyes. I tell you, that animal is ridiculous and I am so happy we finally have it. We have a ton of stuff going on. As a matter of fact, we're gonna be cutting a clutch of eggs right now. Actually, I think two clutches of eggs today. Uh, things are gonna be wild here today, so let's just go ahead, jump into it, uh, but certainly gonna be spending some time admiring my new baby Kush for sure. And like I mentioned, we have two clutches to cut today. The first one is actually a pastel female. And this is actually the mom who's a pastel. And she was actually bred to this beautiful male right here, which is a pewter lesser. So it's a pastel, it's a cinnamon, and it's a lesser. So what do you say we just push our problems aside today and jump in? As you can see with this clutch, these are definitely ready to go because we have a little head sticking out right here. We have this normal baby, interestingly enough, it's just a normal baby. Uh, this guy doesn't have any genes in it at all. And then we have one other egg that it's pipped. I don't know what's in it yet. So we could get super pastel cinnamon lessers. The cinnamon lessers are often called lithium. So uh, let's just jump in and hopefully we'll hit some cool stuff. First egg. And here we go. Let's see what we got. Right off the rip. First egg. Oh yeah. Oh wow. There's a chance. I mean it's definitely a pastel cine lesser. And I think it might be the algene. I think this is the super pastel, what would be called a sterling lesser or a super lithium, I, I'm not, something like that. I'm not sure what the terminology is on that. But nevertheless, I think we might have hit it on the very first egg. How freaking awesome is that? That is incredible. I was a little bit concerned because the couple animals I see didn't look like they had lesser in them. I'm like, oh my gosh, would another father maybe father this clutch? Let's move into the egg that's already picked and see what's inside there. You can see these guys have a little egg tooth and that egg tooth actually slits all these eggs just like the razor blade. And what do we have here? Well, we obviously know that it is a lesser, a pewter lesser for sure because this again is another lesser. This looks like probably a cine lesser which would be a lithium. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Until it gets out of the egg, not a hundred, no, that's absolute. That's a, that's a lithium, 100%. That's a cine lesser for sure. So that's pretty cool. Egg number three. So far, the odds have been pretty good. I've been loving this. Can't complain. Not a bad way to start. Again, just egg cutting is awesome regardless. And there you are again, guys. I was just talking about the odds and we hit it again. This is definitely the super pastel cine lesser. So that's awesome. Again, the all gene animal. So we've got two of them already just out of three eggs. Well, theoretically there was an egg hatch, but let's move on to egg number four. All right, what do we have here? Oh my God, let's just keep our odds going, right? Let's keep, oh my gosh, what? This one's even better. This one is so dope. Oh my God, that thing is gorgeous. The other two were pretty, but this one is a rocker. Oh my, like we hit three out of four so far. How crazy is this? We know the next thing I'm gonna cut with that little head is poking out. We know that's not a super pastel because it's got a normal head. It definitely looks like a cine at least. Don't know if it's a lesser. Let's just go ahead and gingerly cut this egg because we don't want to affect that animal. But I think what happens is as I'm cutting, it'll probably pop its head back in, but I'll be very, very careful on this one. You ready? And again, what I'm gonna do is cut right like this and not get too close to the head. I'm just gonna kinda go around like this and see what's inside here. And you know what? This is actually just a normal cine here. So no lesser, no pastel, anything, just a pure cine, which is completely fine. Then of course the sixth egg is this little monkey that already hatched out. So we have one more egg left, but oh my gosh, the odds have been so incredible on this clutch. Let's go ahead and cut this last egg. All right, you guys know I always love to end on something amazing. So let's see what we got here. Oh my gosh. It's amazing, that's right, we hit four of them. Four eggs, all of them were the Super Pastel Cine Lesser. Oh my gosh, that, dude, that is incredible. We do have one more clutch to cut. Uh, a little bit longer odds on this one, I'll tell you about that in a second, but uh, wow. I mean, that, that was incredible, guys, incredible. Down in the dungeon again, you know that means what time it is. Does that make any sense? No. That, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ready? Down in the dungeon again. 
what time? What, what do I say here? Down in the dungeon again. Guess what time it is? Big time. Holy moly, that was a mess. All right, so we have a yellow belt. Whoa, that looks like a beautiful clutch. And this mama definitely looks like she's going to protect her eggs, which uh, typically happens. You guys know, I can't believe I haven't been bit more this year getting these eggs off. But this girl was actually a yellow belly bred to this amazing spider, super stripe, red stripe. So that's pretty awesome. Cannot wait to see some more of these babies come out. Let's go ahead and see how many eggs she has. Like I mentioned, mama's definitely fired up. So we're just going to be real gentle and slowly kind of take her off. And it looks like a beautiful, beautiful clutch of eggs right here. That's amazing. Again, that red stripe is an incomplete dominant. And then of course the super stripe is a lilac to yellow belly. So we could produce ivories from this. We could produce super stripes, spider super stripes, red stripe super stripes, red stripe spider super stripes, all kinds of different stuff. Regardless, it's a really beautiful clutch of eggs. So we're just going to push them down here. Two, four, six, eight, nine, Gorgeous eggs. Hey, that's a good way to start, but we have some more clutches to come to. This next clutch is pretty interesting. It's actually a spider female ball python, but she was bred to a real banger male. And that's this black pewter lesser cypress male. Oh my God, that thing is absolutely incredible. And then mixing the spider gene, gonna get even more cool stuff. Come on, baby girl. It's all right. Oh, looks pretty good. Really small egg. Looks like one little infer egg. Look at this egg right here. Whew. You could actually see all the veins in it which is weird. It's almost like our science project with the spotted pythons, but not quite as clear. But that is really interesting. That's something I hardly ever see. That's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and grab the rest of these eggs. Looks like we've got some rolled eggs here. So we'll probably actually have to candle these guys. But uh, oh, mama doesn't want me to take the rest of her eggs. Come on, mom. It's okay. And then there's one little slugger in here, but we've got two, four, six, seven good eggs, one slug. That's not bad. I tell you what, that's going to be an interesting combination with all those genes working. I can't wait till these hatch. For those of you guys that don't know it, uh, we still have merch available. And that's right. It is Ivy. You can get them with or without free hugs. And of course, my Lucy shirts. These are, again, only going to be available for a short time, maybe the next couple weeks, something like that. So go ahead, uh, link in the description if you want to get yourself some merch. Uh, I think they're pretty cool. And uh, they do wrap around you and give you kind of a nice little hug. Back to the egg cutting. Uh, we actually have, uh, let's say, two, four, six eggs in this clutch. And the parents were, the mom is actually this pastel that's het for VPI azanthic. And it's bred to this male right here that is actually a double het lavender snow. So it's het for that VPI azanthic as well as lavender snow. Which just basically means we could produce azanthics, we could produce pastel azanthics, uh, and they would all be possible het for lavender snow, which is pretty cool. You know, that's a good thing. But pretty much we're just shooting for azanthics and pastel azanthics in this clutch. So let's go see if the odds are as good in this clutch as they were in the first clutch that we cut. So first egg, and here we go. Let's see what we're gonna get. All right, first egg is just a pastel. All right, so again, now because of the way this kind of odds work is this would be a pastel, it'd be a possible hat for azanthic and possible hat for lavender azanthic. So uh, pretty much just a pastel. If you raise up females that way, then you can bring them to say a lavender snow and your odds are a little bit better. But regardless, uh, not exactly what we're looking for, egg number two. And let's hope we crush some odds. I love little azanthic, so that would be really good. Looks like another pastel, but interestingly enough, you know, the pastels have a little visual cue in their head for azanthic, so they're a little bit dull, so it's like kind of visual head, right? And both these two first azanthics, I would almost guarantee are head azanthic. I can't mark them head azanthic because they are possible heads, but that dull look to them usually is that kind of marker for a head azanthic. So if they're females, I might just raise them up. Egg number three. Let's see what we got. Come on, give me an azanthic. Oh, uh, mm, ah, no. Unfortunately, this looks like just a normal. Doesn't look like it's azanthic, doesn't look like it's pastel. So, so far we've been missing. Uh, did great on the first clutch, but we've got three more eggs. So let's just jump into the next egg. Here we go, come on. Give me an azanthic. Oh, I can already tell it's not an azanthic. So this is again, another normal ball python. Possible head for azanthic, possible head for lavender. Two more eggs to go. All right, come on, just even one azanthic right now would be nice. I'd even be happy with one at this point. And again, another normal, so uh, one egg. We're down to one egg, guys. We either hit the odds or we don't hit the odds. And remember the first handful of clutches we cut, the odds weren't that great. Then the last two or three clutches we've cut have been amazing odds, and that's how it goes, right? That's what odds go that way. Sometimes you do really well, sometimes you don't. In the end, it kind of all equal outs, to be honest with you. So last egg, let there be an azanthic. Oh, my own azanthic, come on, azanthic. Let's see, let's just get this. Oh. oh, I can already tell it's not gonna be an azanthic. 
it's just going to be but this is a pastel but this is a much brighter pastel so this one definitely is not het for azanthic because you don't see that dulling so all in all hey we got three pastels two of them look like they're heads uh, all possible head for lavender and three normals that are possible double heads so there it has it we'll let these hatch out and if there's a bunch of females i may just raise them up and prove them out down the road guess what time it is and we're going to start the day off with this absolutely beautiful oka tea that is head for scaleless and of course it's bred to a beautiful abbott's oka tea scaleless and here's that beautiful little monkey right here i mean take a look at that i mean those like kind of cool circles on it it's a beauty and this one's actually had a bunch of good eggs this year so hopefully this clutch will be good too and away we go let's see look at mama's really big big girl and look at that beautiful clutch of eggs absolutely incredible definitely not a disappointment and take a look at all these eggs right here oh my gosh and guys, what's really crazy is this is a second clutch. The first clutch laid 21 good eggs. So this is amazing. She's got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 good eggs. 38 eggs for the year for that corn snake. That's crazy. Again, half of these are going to be Abbott's Okatee Scaleless. The other half will be Abbott's Okatee Heifer Scaleless. So, wow, I tell you what, that is beautiful. The only other clutch actually is a Het Albino Scaleless that was bred to an Albino Scaleless. This is a second clutch, and unfortunately, she slowed slugged out the first time so I don't have high hopes now what happens a lot of times when we have a bad clutch the first time so we'll switch the male and try to breed a different male just to see if the fertility gets better so let's take a look and uh, ah not so good yep not such a good results we do have a couple good eggs in here but it looks like the majority of the eggs are definitely no good we'll get her cleaned up get her some fresh water all that stuff she should be back onto food here in the next you know week or so and then she's going to just beef up for brumation so we'll just take a closer look at this clutch like i said this is definitely a good egg here looks like this is a good egg here and it looks like the rest of them are sluggers. So this whole year, she only gave us two good eggs. Slugged out the first clutch, two eggs in that clutch, and then a whole bunch of slugs. But that's just the way it goes. Again, we keep records on this. So we know last year, she actually laid two fertile clutches. So it's not a female issue. It was just a male issue, and that's the way it goes. This year, we missed on it. Next year, I'm sure she'll do better. It's that time again. We're open tonight at the Reptarium. So uh, time to mask up, go let people in, and have a good night. So I'm actually heading over to the Reptarium. We uh, got 25 people, that's our max capacity at this point in there. And we're gonna feed Lucy for the very first time since we're back open to the public. So it uh, should be pretty fun, let's do it. Ready? I think she's ready. All right, here we go. There she goes. There she goes. So there she is. What do you guys think? <laughs> so she'll take about a half hour or so to eat, and then guess what? Later on, you're feeding the second one. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're ready. So as always, we actually have Lucy getting fed her second one, but my friend from New York is in town, so he's actually <laughs> gonna do the feeding. I'm gonna jump in, protect him. You're gonna come right to here, and you're just gonna kinda put the rabbit, I'm gonna go in first, okay. and you're gonna put the rabbit by her face, all right? So come on in, come on in. I got you protected, don't you worry. No and then right up by her face. There she goes. Oh. Good job, way to go. And we survived, I know you guys wish we didn't. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, guys, as we're winding down, we're getting to the end of the night here. It's uh, absolutely amazing, as always, to have people in. It's such a blessing. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, uh, here is an entire playlist of the Reptarium, our build, and all that type of stuff. You can roll through. It's 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 awesome. I'm so, so blessed to have this. Up here, you can support my podcast channel called Checking In, if you don't mind. On this side, could you please subscribe to this vlog channel? Turn your post notifications on. Remember, have a wonderful day, and be kind to someone. I promise I'll see you tomorrow.